Darn it! I missed this year's Islam Day parade. However, when I got there, I did see some pretty cool stuff. I'm under Maybe assault. We bought a permit to speak. They don't have to. Nothing here is free. Here's our permit. Here's our vendor. I paid, I paid him $100. That's not, That's not a permit. That's not a permit. They're taking this guy away because they say he gives Islam a bad name. Yeah, that and like what? 11,000 terrorist attacks since 9 11. Now, the guy that got kicked out, he had a couple of homies, so I interviewed one of his homies to find out what they're all about. I mean, it's not you wouldn't support Obama, you wouldn't support McCain. The sphere that exists here. Okay. What we're working and we're calling for is Al Islam in its totality. And we're uh -huh. trying to guide the Muslims not to support or vote for Obama or McCain, but to work and strive hard to bring awareness and create a gap where Islam can be implemented in any yeah, part of the world, wherever yeah, yeah. it may be. And the guy with the time, he interviewed another one of his homies just to find out more about what they're all about. What laws would change in America if the law was I should do many things, you know, I mean, from pornography, abortion, homosexuality, alcohol, even the issue of ancient space and so forth. All of these were definitely phenomenal. I'm wearing a pink shirt and drinking a beer in solidarity with West. Sturdy would also include adultery, would that be... Yes, I mean, uh, it is. Like, you know, adultery is forbidden in every religion, actually, not just Islam. But in Islam, it was punished by uh, Islam. And I do believe it. I mean, it's destroying families today. And you can say, hey, cultures, John, the group that they're drawing out, aren't they a little bit extreme? Don't they really not represent the mainstream Islam? And I'd say, yeah, maybe you're right. However, there are a small part that is a real part of Islam. And wherever you have just a few people, like with 9-11 or with the USS Cole or with the stabbing of a filmmaker, Van Gogh in Denmark, you have a danger to lose the freedom of speech. You don't take a lot of people to destroy and bring down the precious rights, just as wearing pink shirts and drinking beer, that we all enjoy here. Do you think uh, the Islam world should be ruled by Islam? Yes, we do believe it, 100%, and that's actually what we call for. The uh, uh, system, you know, and we believe this is the only solution, not just for the Islamic world, we believe this is the only solution for the humanity, for the whole world. The guy on the left, he's really cool. He's working with the Christian Action Network, and they're making a video about homegrown jihad and of all the terrorist camps that are in North Carolina and the rest of the United States. later interviewed me asked cultures John what's the problem with this Islam Day parade I said the problem with this parade is it spreads the multicultural idea that all cultures are equal when we know from recent events in history that the separation of church and state and Islam don't go together whenever you have a smaller or even large Muslim population those things are in danger then he asked me he said well what's the solution I said we have to stop Islamic immigration now he said wait a minute aren't people gonna say that's racism yes but it's not racism racism is stupid it's evil it would be wrong if we were to do it but this is culture and because cultural diversity is real Culturism is rational and necessary. I'm Kashani. I'm with the New York Civic Participation Project and the Muslim School Holidays Coalition. Our coalition is a citywide partnership of over 60 community and religious organizations that are working to make sure Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha are recognized in the New York City public school calendar. Our group started in January 2006 when statewide testing was given on Eid al-Adha. We believe that our children should be at home with their families on Muslim holidays and not have to choose between observing religion or doing well in school. You might say, hey, cultures, John, this one seems pretty cool. All she wants to do is have Muslim holiday in school. The problem is it, is it spreads this multicultural idea that cultural diversity doesn't really matter. We should celebrate everything and all cultures are the same. It also undermines the idea that we have a specific Western culture, and we do. It goes back to Athens, goes back to Jerusalem, and these are the underpinnings of having freedom of speech, separation of church and state, gay rights, women's rights, these kinds of things. And if we give in this little bit, if we naturalize it, it means that we can't discriminate on a cultural basis. And if we're going to survive and have our Western culture intact, we need to discriminate on a cultural basis.